Before we start the video, I would like to take a moment to say thanks to all my patrons. I wouldn't be able to keep Inscope Studios going without you, so thank you so much for all your support. I would also like to say thanks to Richter and Joshua for their tier 3 sub this month, and special thanks to James Williams Bond for his tier 4 sub this month. In this video, we are going to fix the talent tooltip on our Reign of Fire before we actually start doing some damage with it. Um, because if you look here and run the game, you'll see that there are no talent text right now when we mouse over this one. However, when we learn it and we look in the spell book uh, and hit the right button, there is already a text here. And if we select it and put it here, we will also show a text here, which isn't correct at the moment. We will also fix that in this video. So what we have to do is to go into our um, spells. Let's see here. We have our scripts and our spells. And here's a spell. And in here, when we open up the spell, you see we have this description here that returns whatever um, information we need. And we need to make sure that this information is correct based on the Reign of Fire script. And we also need to do the same for the talent. So if we open up our talents, um, that's a tree, and we find the, we have something ignite, Reign of Fire here, you'll see that we have commented out this uh, text here. So we have to comment this back in right here. And then we need to fix it so that it actually looks correct. So how does the um, does it need to look? Let's try to open up and give me a moment. And see here, so the text needs to write rain of fire instead. Rain of fire. And we have this color, it's fine. Then we can write something like create a rain of fire and then we can say on a target location or something and then we can say that does and then we need some damage um some damage at every second for some kind of duration And seconds okay. then we need to delete all this so the text should read rain of fire create a rain of fire on a target location um, that does and then some damage here let's go up here right now we don't have those talents let's uh, those uh, what is it called fields make a private float called duration and a private float called damage these two needs to be civilized. Civilized field and that one below, civilized field. Then we say, well, the damage is based on the time and the damage and duration. So we say damage divided by duration. Because it's every second, right? We need to calculate how much damage it does every second for this duration. So if it's 20 seconds and it does 20 damage, then we simply say 20 divided by 20, which is 1, so it says it does 1 damage every second for 20 seconds, and so on. So now we have this correct here, let's try to save and see how it looks. Actually, we need to have the end tag for color right here, and then we can save it, go back into Unity and rerun it. And if we Go here to our UI canvas and uh, talent tree and find our talents. Background, content, tier 3, abilities, fire free. Then we'll see we have some duration and some damage. Let's say that it has a 10 second duration and it does 20 damage over those 10 seconds, right? So if we open this up, and earn this. See that creates a rain of fire on a target location that does two and it just does two every second for 10 seconds. So we need to write damage. So I missed that up. Let's try to go here. That does two damage. Damage, damage. Right there. And let's try again. And if we mouse over now. It's a bit too big for the for the screen. If we maximize how it does it look then. 
else we just need to make a new line. I guess we need to make a new line somewhere. Let's do that. Let's do that. Create a rain of fire on a target location. There's this. Let's make a new line there as well. So let's try again. So create that rain of fire creates a rain of fire on a target location that does two damage every second for 10 seconds. That's fine. And this means when we do this and we learn this and we push the right buttons to get done, it still has the wrong one here. So rain of fire, cast time, three seconds and so on is also wrong. So we need to fix this. And how do we fix this? Well, um, this is based on the spell script inside the spell script some where we have a get description. So let's open that up. So we have spell and we have get description here. And there are two different ways of describing stuff. There's one way with our cast spells, and we also need another way. So we say if needs target. So if we don't need a target, then we use one. Else we use this. This means we need to save this and jump back out here and make sure that on our spell book somewhere there, we need to check out, well, the fireball needs a target. The frostbolt needs a target. Thunderbolt needs a target. Um, Gather also needs a target, kinda. And Rain of Fire does need a target, so we don't tick that right here on the Rain of Fire. Uh, then we go back here and we say return. We then make that dollar sign and we take the title. We take the color equals FFD 100 to get that white one, new line, and then we open those brackets and say description, and new new line, that does, then we say this damage here, damage divided by duration, so we need the duration, we don't have that right now, just write my duration for now, and then damage every second for my duration and then seconds intelligence not gonna bother me too much here and then the color okay um so because of this this is a bit ruined because we don't have duration so let's just get the duration done first and the duration is basically just up here we can make a anywhere after damage maybe we can make a private float called duration and basically we should serialize that serialize field and we also need a property for it so we make a property that goes down here and says we rename it to my duration like that so it does this description damage divided by duration and let's see why does it because we rewind it let's just go down here sorry i'm talking a bit too much like there okay so we have our color correct there and there. So we have the title and then it takes the color, the description that does damage divided by duration every second for the duration and seconds. So this is the new information we will need. So if we save that, go back to our scene, select our spell book and find the, the specific spell. This is create a rain of fire at the selected Let's just write the same as we did before at a at or fire on a target location. So if we save that, play it again, let's see how it looks now. And we need a new line, so we don't have damage, we don't have that. So let's see here, we need to set it. Let's see if we hold mouse over here. We have the damage would be 20, the duration would be 10 seconds, 
We don't need a range and it doesn't need a target. Uh, but I think I would like a new line somewhere in that. Uh, I have a new line here, a new line there. Um, that does damage irritants. Let's just see how it looks now when I fix those things out there. So we would like a new line after two damage, I guess. How much damage? So we make a new line after damage. There. And it's up to you how you want to set this up. Maybe you want it to look differently. It's up to you. These are just guidelines for how we can put it together. Let's see here. Boom. Go. And now, so it creates a rain of fire on a target. There's some space there, it shouldn't be. That does two damage every second for 10 seconds. And we can also, instead of writing second, we could also shorten it uh, every sec for two sec. Um, see how it looks now. So this is the last time I'm going to try to do this. this so target is still wrong, but face away and fire and target location that does two damage every 10 seconds for 10 seconds. Um, yeah, so that's how you can make that. Um, and the reason that it has that mistake is because I've written a mistake here. That's it. There we go. Okay, so now we have the correct tooltip for our uh, talent and for our spell. Um, and that means that we can start working on doing the actual damage. And that's exactly what we're going to do in the next video. In the next video, we will make sure that the Rain of Fire can do tick damage on our enemies. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.